Hello everyone. So today we are going to go over a uh, one go over a strategy uh, which which reviews trading big or key levels in uh, in forex. Uh, so this strategy is not really a strategy that is only connected to one trading method, uh, meaning we are not only talking about trend lines, about horizontal supports or resistances, about Fibonacci levels, about moving averages or other methods. More or less what we are looking at is using all of these uh, before mentioned methods to uh, identify on, on a chart a key or a big major level that is going to play a uh, a major uh, a major role in in defining the the price uh, the price action so here to start with i have prepared a few charts uh, let's start with the dollar cat uh, first and impo what is important to note is that uh, this uh, this uh, strategy is is be best working on a daily and weekly charts since again we are talking about big levels and you cannot really identify a big level on an hourly chart because the, the the time frame is too low so here we are talking about a daily chart in this particular case and we we have a we have like a triangle with two big trend lines you can see here that this trend line is 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 uh connecting lows from 2014 and then a low from uh, 2017 here again as uh, high from 2016 and the high from 2017 so we are talking about the multi-year trend lines in this case we we know that the trend line uh can be drawn as soon as it can connect to lows or two highs uh, uh, upper side we have two highs and which means that on a daily level when we draw a trend line connecting two highs then we can look for a third touch uh, which would be of course a bigger level since it's a daily level and we are here talking about uh, if when, when we touched when the pr price touched the, the the trend line here it happened in 2018 so it's a two-year trend line which of course is going to offer um, a resistance on the on the downside uh, we have again a third touch to the trend line and this is uh, again a two or four four-year trend line so this is even stronger of course the the longer the time frame is uh, the the more important the trend line is on some charts you will find also uh, trend lines or or horizontal support and resistance lines that are for eight or ten years uh, or active so here as you can see is there are two big levels we are talking about multi-year levels and what you have here so you have a second touch you will draw a trend line now you're waiting for a third touch and when the price comes here in this uh, particular moment we are talking about uh, 122.50 so you are entering buy trade because you you you're looking for to join many big big uh, big real money traders who are looking to buy against the trend line and look at the reaction almost vertically we recall from 120 to 50 to one uh, almost 127 which is a 450 pips from this from this level almost or uh, not even uh, uh, peaking below the trend line so uh your stop loss which at at this time frame we are talking about the daily and weekly time frame we advise to be at least 50 pips mm -hmm. uh, since you're also looking to 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 hit bigger levels then we're we're talking about 100 and 150 pips that's that all depends on your trade uh, trading plan so we go to the upside then we have a third touch to the up to the upper side of the triangle and then what happens again you have a you have you you, you enter sell we literally as you can see here on the daily chart we, we simply touch uh, in a peak trend line at 130 to 1 uh, 13125 and then we go uh, we go almost straight line uh, 300 pips to 12820 before having a minor correction and then again continuing to the downside uh, so uh, you can see that the traders were really looking to sell against this trend line and to buy against this trend line because they have identified these two levels as big levels. This is when when, when we talked about trend lines. Let's see here again uh, very similar again trend lines. You see upper trend lines here we draw draw a trend line connecting these two, two highs or this or this series mm -hmm. of these highs here and then here 
uh, we actually start thinking about entering into the trade you can see here we have a reaction one reaction second reaction we go down here another reaction look at the number of touches all in all we are talking about 10 touches against this trend line which is a key major uh, bull bear line in, in the dollar yen on a daily chart and just trading against this trend line you could have made a lot of a lot of money without really going into a very advanced moves or thinking anything anything big uh, let's see uh, when we talk about the, uh, the Fibonacci uh, charts we here we have on a, again on a daily chart in the in the pound dollar we have a retracement this is a brexit yeah, this is a brexit candle of course because it's a 2000 pips candle daily candle uh, so we retreat retrace we went from 150 to 119 3100 pips and then what happened when, when you draw the Fibonacci uh, retracement lines you see that we reacted to, to certain levels uh, in certain ways but the big reaction when which happened is 7860 those investors who are trading pound dollar they know that a reaction from pound dollar at 7860 is not an accident it, it really likes this level so what happened is that uh, if you if you go and zoom in now this chart look this was more or less like sideways trading uh, trading you can see here choppy price action but then suddenly we we set in from 134.50 and then we go to 143.50 so 900 pips we we have a big vertical move to the upside we touch the 78.6 and then we go down and the first reaction to the downside is a reaction of 350 pips we go up we create a lower high we go down to, to 61.8 retracement uh, but what what for us what is important in this particular case is the reaction that we got here so as soon as we have a such rejection at this level see here we have this trend line uh, this horizontal resistance line we wait for the second touch if, if we can get one in order to sell against it uh, so here we are selling we get a second touch at again 143.50 we sell it since it's a daily chart we are looking for a as i said at least 50 but more or less 100 100 pips stop, stop loss the price peaks around 30 pips above the, above the horizontal uh, resistance line but then it creates an unbelievable move a 1000 pips move from 143.70 to to eventually to one third so it's again 900 pips move so we make here we make we made a nice road trip we went up down up again second rejection and of course this also is a double top trading since we have two equal highs uh, so this is we review the trend line we review the the fibonacci and look at the at the moving average this is a weekly chart euro dollar as we said the higher the time frame the more important the levels are and look what happens when the euro dollar when it went above in the big move couple of years ago it went way below the, the 100 moving average on a weekly chart and then look what happened when the first time we retested the moving average so we touched it at 116 we went to 109 700 pips we went we had a series of touches here you can see here we tried to close above we failed eventually we came down touch again fail eventually come down of course here it was a choppy trading because we went uh, to 70 pips uh, I'm sorry six 160 pips above the trend line so here you have been probably stopped out uh, but eventually uh, what is important here that the close so even if you waited for this candle to be formed that is weekly candle and you entered your trade here at 108.30 you could have still made a lot of a lot of money because uh, the price uh, would not simply close above the 100 moving uh, day uh, 100 uh, weekly moving average and subsequ subsequently we, we, we went and pushed above the price but look we are talking about the six or seven touch uh, by that time you already could have made a lot of money by trading by trading these moves